Hey everybody, it's Echo. Welcome back to Echoia. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use SVG files in Silhouette Studio without having Designer Edition. Now, I know at the top of my screen it says Designer Edition, but that's because I just recently upgraded within the week. But before that, I had used this method to get SVG files into Silhouette Studio. They are not going to be fully layered gra uh, vector graphics, but you will be able to use them and print them and cut them. Now, when you open up an SVG file, if you don't have Designer Edition or better, then you're not going to be able to open it in Silhouette Studio, but you can open it in an internet browser. So I have opened mine in Internet Explorer. You can see it's just a little chicky. I'm going to hold down the control key and use my scroll wheel to scroll up. And this is going to zoom in on our little chicky. I'm going to press F11 to make my, my window as big as possible and then use the scroll bars to make sure that I'm not cutting off any parts of my chick. Once I've zoomed in as far as I comfortably can, I'm gonna hold down Control and press Print Screen. Back in Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna hold down Control and press V. Now the problem here is that it's just a JPEG, and so when you go to the cut settings, it just has this outline and that's what it's going to cut and I don't want to cut that. So we're going to go into the trace window and select trace area. We're going to make sure we don't cut off any parts of our chick. Wrap this trace box around it. Turn off the high pass filter. Crank up your threshold and lower your scale. The scale is kind of like the size of the blocks that it's tracing, I guess. And so when you have it lower, you have a much smoother line going around your image. Now I'm gonna choose Trace Outer Edge and select both, Object, Modify, Intersect, go into my cut window, and you can see now that Silhouette is going to cut around my chicky because it's a nice a big image, I can use this in a lot of different projects. And because it is made from a scaled up SVG file, you can't just break this apart and recolor it, but you can print it on larger items than if you just had a small JPEG. I hope you guys found this little trick helpful and I do recommend upgrading to Designer Edition, but I understand anyone who doesn't, it took me almost two years to get around to upgrading and if you don't want to spend the money, then this does open up a broader selection for you of cut files that you can use. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.